Now moving toward the wire number options, the wire numbering based on wire layer. So if I select this option, I will go to layer setup, pick wire layer from this list, select any of the layer from these. Let's suppose this is default wire layer, so select this option and default wire number format for this is a percent n so it will assign percent n i can change it here also and starting wire sequence is one this is sequential based and uh, default values are one two three up to so on so i have selected sequential reference based number says one two three to add this then layer will be added in this format wire numbering will be based on wire layer so i don't want to pick this option right now and I can even give wire number based on terminal symbol. The new wire number placement is if I select above wire option, then my wire numbering will be placed above the wire. You see from the gap setup, this will be the format of inline wire numbering. We can change these values, and if we give offset, we can give any value offset distance. Moving toward the drawing format, we will leave this as our default, which is the feature scale multiplier. We have selected inch. In project properties, we can select any of the options based in our drawing, whether we are working in inches or millimeters. And format referencing, if we select this options X, Y grade and move towards the setup, this dialog box is about origin spacing and X, Y format. Its default value is 2.0, but select date value which we get from the calculations. We will put the vertical value in this block and the X, Y format horizontal and vertical. Sometimes this is the default values in horizontal axis. In some blocks you will see that these are alphabets and on vertical you will get the numerical values. But in some blocks digits are on this axis and your alphabets are on this axis then you will have to change these according to your requirement. You can select horizontal vertical increment the value like in this form and x zone it will give the value based on the x axis we can also go to setup and select the spacing of the x axis and the origin values if our x axis is alphabets then we will leave this as a if x axis is based on numerical values then we will select one then Reference numbers going towards the setup and you will see that there are multiple options in reference numbers. Numbers only, this is actually the numbers of the title blocks or ladders. Numbers and ruling, we will get the ruler and sheet and numbers, we will get not only the number but also the sheet value. Now take in wire number of our sequence, we can select any of the sequence from here. Like left to right and moving down, this is the default setting. We have already divided our title block in different sections and moving towards the drawing properties. That was the project properties. Now moving towards the drawing properties and see what are the changes we have to make for our numbering. The first thing is wire numbering and drawing format. Here you can see these are all the default values as the project and drawing format is XY setup. I have selected XY format as vertical and horizontal. So I have selected A and horizontal values are in 1, 2, 3 form. So I have entered 1. I get the value 40 on horizontal axis and on vertical axis I get this value. Let's draw a few wires. How the numbering will be changing or will affect my drawing. So I want to check its properties. Wire numbers is based on line reference like let's suppose I want to select this option first and check its XY grid. I want to pick this corner in my drawing. My number will start from this corner moving towards the right and moving towards bottom. Horizontal value is A and vertical value is 1. Wire numbers you can see that a new dialog box appear which is the wire tagging. Here there are multiple options. Tag new unnumbered only. If we have multiple wires, we have already assigned numbers to some of the wires but others are remaining. Then if we select this option then only untagged number or unnumbered wires will be given numbers. If we select this option then all the wires will get updated cross reference signals and freshness leave it about wire tag mode 
I have selected this option in my default setting project setting also so leave it for now we are not going towards x y grid we are first find the numbers based on sequential format so this is my default value I can also override format if I select any of the value like let's suppose I want to enter p then i can enter any of the values use wire layer format overrides if you want to override this layer then i can select this option so i will click on this option first insert is fixed if i select this option then all the numbers will be fixed if i give the numbers to the wire then that numbers will be fixed that will not be changed if i uncheck this option then all the numbers will be in the normal format moving towards this dialog box you can check there are three main options which are project wide pick individual wires and drawing wide if I select pick individual wires, then want to select this wire and select object, click enter, then only that wire will be numbered. All the other wires are not numbered. So I can manually pick any of the wires or any of the individual wires. I can even select all the wires. If I want to pick all the wires in a drawing, then I will select drawing wide. All my drawing wires will be numbered to select this option. Then you will see that all the wires are now numbered you can see this is the sequential numbers 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so these are sequential based numbers numbering actually start from this corner moving towards this way and in this way i have selected the option the sequence one if i select the project wide then all the wires in the drawings in all the drawings will be numbered 